This is our invention for our heat water spool. So I went ahead and bought a dolly. And I think what we need to do is we're going to have to put in like a tube here with a pipe, a, a thin pipe. We can find something similar to the same product. And this could be like a hinge to where this pipe either slides out or have it to where the pipe can attach and deta deta detach. So in other words, what we got to do is we got to make sure that the dolly, when we're using it and it's functioning, it's at that angle. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to come off of here with our bars and then come down with supports at an angle to, uh, to hold our spool of wire. So our spool of wire can be carried either straight up and down or at an angle. But if we keep it straight up and down, in other words, we can't keep it like this and work on the job because that's going to want to sink into mud and fall forward. It's, al it's always going to want to fall forward. So what they're going to have to do is <clears throat> they can carry this in two pieces in the truck too so they can carry the dolly. Let me just let this sit on here. So they can, so this dolly will be, you know, at a position where almost the pivot point is going to push down. So it won't, you know, the, the weight of the spool won't make it fall forward. So it has to be at a, you know, that, that arm that's going to go down to the ground in the back has got to be a short enough arm to where that can come down at a certain, you know, certain distance, if you follow what I mean. So when you make the bracket, which would probably be right at this, the top of the bracket would probably be here, maybe a little bit above. You're going to have to measure that spool. But when you make the bracket on each side and come down at an angle to the pipe, you'll uh, the the spool can be carried either way, you know, whether it's straight up and down or tilted back. But it, but we're gonna have to have it tilted back for them to work on a job site. And rather than laying it flat on the ground, I'm, I'm thinking if we put some sort of pipe that would, you know, almost like a golf bag does, you know, you, you have just like an arm that folds down and, and holds it off the ground might need a little bit more of an angle than what this is. Okay, so that's what we're gonna try to do. Do, um, you know, I had some pictures drawn out here, but kinda like that. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's what we wanna do. So we wanna see how this works. If we can make one of them, and we can make three more. And then this might not be too tough for to store this someplace in the truck. Um, cause you can hang it on things and get it up out of the way when they're being used. And the big thing is we've got the big tires to roll around the yard. Unfortunately, they got air in them. We could get to where, you know, if they start puncturing on us, we can go ahead and, you know, figure out how to fill them with foam or something. But, uh, I think this would be our best application and hopefully it'll last a few years. That way we can, uh, we'll have our helmet heat carrier is what we'll do. But I'm guessing that that's probably going to have to be more, because don't forget when they when they pull it, it's probably going to have to be more of an angle like that. And so it's probably going to have to be. So that just be the short arm that that folds down. We don't want one that stays out, um, or we can pop in and out. And then what that can do, and then we'll put a flat plate on it so it doesn't sink in the mud if they got wet ground. And then that way, when they're pulling on this spool, they're not lifting the, you know, the wheel won't, this thing won't flop back forwards because they, they'll be pulling straight up, you know, to the upper roof line.